and welcome to Zombie Kill Lab, given to me by Fairbite CMBH. Um, there's not much I can tell about this, because I actually don't know much about it at all, so let's get right into it. You know what, I have turned the audio settings down, why was that so loud? It is currently a mystery how it happened, but one tragic day we were overrun by zombies. Anyone bitten by a zombie turned into one. Their ranks grew endlessly. They proved impervious to any attacks, and thus in what felt like an instant civilization fell. By the remote reaches of northern Canada, there exist moose labs. In these underground facilities, a group of scientists are busy researching a cure. These scientists were largely spared from the horrors of the zombie apocalypse, and so they chose to fight back with their greatest weapon, science. They have made the first step in developing a cure for the zombie virus. Now it's time for some perilous field work. The scientists of Moose Lab have gathered their bravest members. Your mission is to build a laboratory defended from zombie attacks, capture zombies, treat them, help them regain their sanity. It's time to cure the world. Why is that so loud? It's really irritating. Hang on, folks. Okay, you guys didn't see that. I literally had to come right back out of the game. Okay, so let's do the tutorial. Because like, all good games have a tutorial. Um, I suppose this is everything we start with. Okay. Oh, I like this. This is the roadmap. That's a very good thing. I like it. I like it. They should put more roadmaps in the game so you can actually get access to them. Zombie? The Humby Evolution? Human. Our world has unfortunately been overrun by minus to undead zombies. Civilization has fallen. A small team of plucky Canadian scientists are trying to cure the zombie virus. The goal of your expedition is to cure the zombies in this area. You will have to build a functional lab and defend it from nightly zombie attacks. This sounds like a, um, a tower defense game. With time, you'll be able to turn zombies into human-zombie hybrids which we call Humbies, and ultimately back to fully cured humans. Curing Humbies back to humans takes several rounds of treatment. Any zombies you heal into Humbies will join your force work. Workforce. Force work? Workforce. You can see your objectives in the top left corner of your screen. Fulfill these objectives to learn how the game works. I'm going to take it that is my perimeter. Helicopters arrive. <laughs> Next night, no zombies. Brilliant. Hi guys! So... What do I build? Ah! Oh. Music bounce WASD. Zoom in as far as possible. Rotate camera. That's still annoying. And I've turned everything way down. So I don't know why it's still doing that. Press space to pull and pause. Okay, if you guys are wondering what I'm reading, it's the top left. You need resources to construct further rooms and objects. Your total stored resources are displayed at the bottom of the screen. First, construct a resource camp and a hauling post to gather and fulfill, uh, refill resources. Open the build menu in the bottom left of your screen. Go to the tab called Production, select the resource camp and place it in the world game world. Select the hauling post and place it in the game world. Select the resource camp to open the info box. You can speci specify the resources you want to harvest from with the camp. You can place buildings over existing resources like trees. They will be deleted when the building gets placed by your workers. You know, a lot of games I've played in the past actually allow you to take in resources when you plant over them. So it would have been nice if that did that, but I don't think it's going to do so. So that's the hauling post, and we need resource camp. Here we go. We'll put them close together. Guys, are you just going to leave it to one person? Oh, no, hold on. People are moving now. Okay. I was going to say, imagine if one person had to build everything and the others just st stood still. That would be just really, really horrible for them. Get wood, vegetables, and glowberries. I wonder what the glowberries taste like. Do you think they're edible, guys? Is that a car? Oh, it's a car wreck. Wild vegetables, blueberries. No, there's only one car wreck. Abandoned fridge? 
two abandoned fridges old utility pole barrels of chemicals okay i was half expecting to zoom out and see like maybe a city or something but i'm actually wondering very curiously can we go outside and get these resources or will our base expand and then we can get the resources i don't really think they want to go outside primary defenses yeah this reminds me a lot of a um hidden hidden no tower defense game but it also reminds me a bit of um oh you know what? i've forgotten the name of the game now i've been trying to think of it it's it's it's, it's on the tip of my tongue it's on the tip of my tongue i can't remember the name of it at all but then then again that didn't really have like a zombie attack thing per night you kind of had to go into the cities and survive god i can't remember the name of it at all okay never mind we'll, we'll forget about that for now work conditions 100 percent sets how low the mood of your workers must be before they are allowed to satisfy their needs ah i it's an interesting one never thought of like being able to control their need so how do i specify you make your berry make your workers harvest boost oh wait i can turn it on and off okay um let's turn these off for now just so they focus are you guys just gonna get are you guys just gonna get wood on you can i speed this up somehow oh hold on Whee! so you guys are just gonna carry on i want you guys to get hold on now you guys are just going to carry on getting wood why are you we might be here a while folks oh now you're getting the berries okay i i suppose it makes sense that you'd focus on like finishing off with the trees you've got but at the same time it's like guys i all right i'm gonna speed you guys up again there should be a way to get them to cancel what they're working on just so they can actually focus on the other bit because otherwise we're going to be here a very long time i love how the other scientists is just like oh no we're just going to chill around this helicopter pad what are we doing i don't know what we're doing oh can i not is it too far away i'm gonna guess it's too far away Guys, please, I, I I need you to stop chopping wood and go after the vegetables so I can carry on with the tutorial, pretty please. Thank you. Thank you. I managed to find a way to cancel her. Okay. So, hopefully, we can continue the tutorial. Could you please? Yes, thank you. Okay. Production objects need at least one worker to function. You can set which jobs the assigned workers will do by clicking on the corresponding icons under the header worker assignment workers assigned to production objects will do their job automatically you can also specify the shifts day night or both for every assigned worker i'm not very good at micromanaging by the way a shift specifies if a worker is allowed to work at day or night it does not affect when he sleeps workers sleep whenever they get tired a worker can be assigned to two different buildings at day shift he works at the main storage for construction and now he's a woodcutter at a resource camp. You also can open the assignment screen at the bottom right to get an overview of where your workers are assigned. Fair enough. Okay. Assign more workers to the resource camp one. I was not paying attention. How do I sign? <laughs> ah, hold on. There we go. That's two there. And that's Wait, what? Oh, unassigned. Whoops, sorry. There we go. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Change the shift of workers at main storage to only day shift. Oh, whoops. There we go. <laughs> Tells me you're for not reading properly. Change the job categories of workers at resource camp one to pick up only. Resource camp one, pick up only. Harvest. There we go. Okay. 
To replenish the needs of your humans, you'll need to build a kitchen with a dining table and a bedroom with some beds and a couch. Select the layouting menu at the bottom left and select the wall, the room's walls category. Click and drag to draw a room of the desired size, add a door and a dining table to the room. Building a bedroom works the same way, don't forget to add beds and a couch. By placing objects in the room, you change its room type automatically. To further customize the shape of a room, use the tools to merge rooms, subtract rooms, and divide rooms. You can find them in the layout menu. Merge rooms are the same type by selecting the room first and then the merge command. Draw an area over an existing room that contains the walls that you want to delete with the merge. Starting to draw from the wall or outside the wall will not be recognized as merging. You must draw one tile from within the room. You can always change the type of a room by selecting another type in the info box, but be careful. Objects that are placed in a room with the wrong type won't function. Okay. Right, so build a kitchen. Recommended size 10 by 10. Okay. Uh, layouting, here we go. Why do I keep the game while I'm supposed to be pressing? It's really bad right now. Okay, so 10 by 10 they said. So I want to put it... You know what, let's put it down here. 10 by 10 they said. So 11, 8, so da, da, 10. I didn't mean to do that. I'm using up in my layout. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so build a kitchen, turn my turn. Build kitchen. Okay. Build dining table. Okay, sleeping, comfort, humble. Here we go. Sit. Do? Feeding. Feeding. Why did I make this? Feeding table. Build one dining table. Okay, that should do it. So that should be the kitchen. And build a bedroom, seven by ten. So five beds, one couch. So that couch is there. Can I rotate? I can rotate. Brilliant. Put that there. And we need five beds. So. One, two, three, four. And that should be good enough for that. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Alright, let's speed up and see how well this goes. And I'm glad that there's no zombie attacks tonight. Even though I thought those birds were zombies from over there. I love how there's so many scientists just sitting around and there's like only four scientists constructing an iron. Is there a way to... Oh, that's cool. I just noticed that it's like automatically changed here already. I thought it would need to wait for a bit. Okay, so, kitchen's built. I don't know what you guys are eating, because the moment it looks like you're eating the table. Bedroom laid out. Bedroom is not ready. The bedroom's not ready until everything's been put in. There we go. My bedroom's ready. By going to the research board and spending research, you can unlock more and better objects. Research is generated by scientists working at research desk in a science room. Each new tier opens up more research possibilities. Many objects have one or more upgrades you can you can research. Build a research desk by selecting the science room tab in the build menu. Then research the bellow breezer. Bellow breezer. Open the research board and go to the production tab where you find it under crude ice pack production. What the hell is a bellow breezer? What is a bellow breezer? Set the science room, recommended size 10 by 10. Again, we need a door, so we put that there. You guys, yeah? You know what, we're gonna keep it at the speed for a little bit longer. Research desk. Okay, let's all look. Research desk. And how many do we need? Three. Three research desks. Okay.
and get some research. Research fellow breezes. Oh, ice packs. Okay. Why can't you just call it ice packs? Don't give things a fancy name. I'm not smart enough for fancy names. You having fun in here? Are you guys a... I didn't see what that was. It looked like a piece of meat. Or a gigantic berry. What does it say? Human food pyramid. Okay. I like how I've messed up these two guys. Can I... Hold on. Oh, hold on. I am happy that I can actually turn these around because that was... As soon as I spotted that, that was going to annoy me. Thank you. We need more wood. We need more wood. We need more wood. Why do we not have wood? I don't know what I just did. You lose the game if all your workers are turned into zombies or if your main storage building is destroyed. A fence provides basic protection for your lab. Zombies must fire, must first destroy it before they can get inside. You'll also need to build gates so that workers can go in and out. Zombies like to attack gates first. Use this to your advantage. Since we don't want to destroy the zombies, we'll just freeze them into an ice block. You can also do this by constructing various cold weapons. Cold weapons need ice packs as ammunition and an operator to function properly. You can get ice packs by scavenging old structures in the area or by producing them with a fellow freezer. You can lock down your lab by clicking the lockdown button in the lower right. Workers will flee immediately and return, uh, remain in areas that can't be reached by hostile characters. Your workers will only do this. Uh, your workers will only do jobs they can complete within the safe areas. You can get a visualization of safe and unsafe areas by clicking on the show safe areas button. Don't forget to lift lockdown when the danger has passed. Is that being worked on now? I'm going to assume it is. Build a gate. Okay, build a gate. I'm going to build it there, I think. Build fellow breezer. Okay, so it has been done. Alright, uh, Bellow Breezer, where are you? Snowball? No? Bellow Breezer, here we go. Build Snowball Shooter. Oh. Well, that's a good start. Um, maybe having top speed was a bad idea. Um, I may have messed up a little. Is that aimed the right way? Oh, it's multiple. Okay, so that should work. Uh, fill up with resources. We don't have enough resources. Come guys, hurry up! We need this built! Actually, I just realised I've done this horribly wrong. Hang on. Guys, why are you towering? That's not gonna help! <laughs> oh my god, guys. You're the worst. You are actually the worst, guys. You literally just all stood by the gates, just powering and not doing a bloody thing I was trying to tell you to do. At least they didn't break the gate, but I'm not sure if that was because of the tutorial or because all they were trying to get to the scientists that were all cowering right by the gate. Anyway, unfortunately, I'm all out of time today. Thank you so, so much, Farabytes GMBH, for allowing me to play Zombie Cure Lab. I do think it needs a little bit of work. I'm not entirely sure why you're telling me to build such large rooms like this and this if you're only saying in the tutorial to do to put in tiny amounts unless that's what you think overall the best size is later on in the game and not the tutorial size. Um, I've just noticed a huge problem here uh, before I stop is these symbols here for electricity or is that because there's no uh, resources at the moment that needs looking into and it should have been mentioned in objectives um or the little tutorial snippets that come along but yeah 
guys if you like the content i'm putting out link to my copy is in the description below and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye for now